The 2022 Ram truck lineup is going to have the Uconnect 5 radio system in it. This 2500 has the Uconnect 5 with the 8.4 inch screen. You want to take a look at it? Let's go. Let's start her up. This initial screen is, is for your driver profile setup. Uh, and you can get started with this or switch users, but if we pr press get started here, then it allows us to put in a username. I'm just gonna keep driver one for right now because uh, we do have somebody that, that ordered this vehicle. And it lets us choose an avatar for our profile. You can see you've got four uh, icons on this screen and you've got different icons, different sorts of avatars that you can use. It's a nice little feature when you have multiple people driving the vehicle. And then on this information button down here, I can see what is what is all gonna be on each driver profile. So it's gonna customize your screen, the menu bar, status bar, your presets, different app functions, what your favorites, and then recently used apps, and then Bluetooth devices. So getting out of that screen, let's take a look at the home screen here. On this home page, you have uh, you have these widgets, each of these squares is considered a widget. And you can you can edit these and you have your choices there with shortcuts, now playing for your media, phone favorites, um, and then also removing widgets. If you wanted to set up multiple pages of widgets, I can come to this My Pages, press Add Page, and then add a widget and I can come in here and choose one of these. On this shortcut page, I can have all these, I've got six different spots there and I can, I can press this plus and choose different controls or media or whatever. In this instance, if I wanna put the backup camera on there, press that review camera. And now whenever I slide over to this page, press that rear view camera button and it'll show me my backup camera view. For the most part, I don't think that you necessarily have to have uh, any additional widgets because you do have some other customization up here. Now, this top row up here where you get the time, right now the external temperature, driver profile, and the notifications, I can adjust some of these. Come up here and swipe down. Then these three circles here, I can change what's in each of those. For instance, if I wanted to put my backup camera in one of those spots, I can drag and drop it to any of those spots. I'm gonna put it here where the external temperature is because I have the external temperature on my driver display as well. Also from this drag down uh, on this top status bar, I can come in here, press that little settings menu and adjust my clock. So if I want to adjust, then I press yes here, it'll bring me straight to this clock setting and I can come in here and adjust this however I see fit. Now the media button across the bottom, this is just going to be your, your radio sources or your music sources, AM, FM, satellite, Bluetooth. Up here on the, uh, and, and your function on this is going to be basically the same. Now when I go to the source, I can customize which is in what location. So uh, if you somebody listens to AM radio, then you can drag and drop that down there. And just based off of which music source you listen to the most. Shows me what's playing. Then my browse is showing uh, scanning for radio stations. And then I've got my presets that'll show up on there. Audio over here is gonna be my audio settings. Uh, I've got balance fade, equalizer, all that stuff. Now this volume adjustment button, this is one of my favorite things that they've added to this. Uh, and there's multiple ways to get to it. But we press this volume adjustment and it shows me what the volume is for all of these different functions. My music, my phone calls, the ringer, navigation instructions, and voice recognition whenever the radio's talking back to us on the voice recognition. And I can adjust those from here. Put it however I want it to be. Now, the easier way to get to this, I'm gonna jump over here to, I'm gonna jump back over here to the phone screen. And if I adjust my volume, come up here, press this drop down arrow. I've got the same opportunities right here to uh, adjust. Now in this instance, it's media, phone, phone ringer, and voice recognition, not the navigation. Pressing the phone icon, this is where I can come in and add a phone. Pretty self-explanatory here. You can have multiple phones active on this. So when we press the vehicle button, 
That brings us to a screen that will allow us to customize several of the settings for the vehicle. Defaults to show the settings over here. The controls over here, we'll get back to the settings in a second. On the controls tab up here at the top, depending on how well equipped your vehicle is, uh, you'll have more settings on here. With this being a tradesman, this is only gonna give us access to the rear view camera. Press that, it'll pull up the rear view camera. If you had a higher trim level package or had more features on there that were accessible, then they would show up on this screen as well. With the settings tab, this, this is where we can customize the different things based on, for our driver profiles. The display mode here is going to deal with the brightness of the display during the nighttime or the daytime, and it typically set to auto. Set theme is going to give us the ability to customize the colors. Right now on theme two, it's a blue uh, colors. So we'll press the box over here. And it changes it to a different shade of blue. And then uh, for theme one, theme three, we'll change it to an orange theme. And then theme four, we'll change the colors to red. I personally kind of like this dark blue, so let's change it to that for right now. Then when we scroll down, theme mode, this is going to kind of go along with the day and night setting as well. Uh, but right now, with auto, this is in a light mode. If we change it uh, to the dark, then we've got the dark background with the white lettering. Units is just metric versus standard and then I can adjust the touchscreen beeps. The main category bar labels is just saying if it's gonna show the labels down here at the bottom, vehicle, phone, media, fuel saver display in cluster, pop-ups displayed in cluster, phone pop-ups displayed in cluster, the time format, whether it's military or, or standard timing, AM, FM, power delay, and then access to our audio. Then we show display and we've already, we've already kind of gone through that display. We've already gone through all this display. You know, safety and driving assistance uh, pulls up for this vehicle, hill start assist, tire fill assist. If you have more advanced options on there, forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, lane depart assist system, then those options will show up under this safety and driving assistance. Clock and date is gonna be where we can adjust the, the time. Then we go, you got phone and Bluetooth settings. The device manager is the same as if we were to press the phone button down here and go over to the device manager. Do not disturb, just sets everything to do not disturb. And, uh, enabling two phones, two active phones, and then your phone pop-ups displayed in the cluster. Then we go to the trailer here, how you can adjust those. But you come in here and uh, you've got, it'll, you can identify the type of braking system for your trailer. And then you can also name your trailer and you've got several names to choose from or for those that have more than one trailer then you've got your camera settings here backup camera delay active guidelines and fixed guidelines so backup camera delay when this setting is off put the vehicle into reverse the backup camera comes on automatically if we switch it into neutral or drive then the camera turns off instantly with backup camera delay turned on when we put the vehicle into neutral or drive, the camera will stay on for about 10 seconds or until you reach a certain speed and it should go off any second now. Bam, a little bit late. Mirrors and wipers, you get some functions there. Headlights with wipers turned on. Your lights, uh, how long the lights are gonna stay on whenever you turn the vehicle off. If you're gonna have daytime running lights on, when you hit the unlock button, how long the lights will stay on before you get to the vehicle. Uh, you got headlights with wipers turned on, flashing lights with locks. The doors and locks, again, gonna allow you to customize how the vehicle will lock itself, unlock itself. If the horn is gonna sound whenever you lock the vehicle. First press of key fob, set right now it's set to unlock all doors. You can set it to unlock only the driver's side door if you'd like. Key off options. So the key off options, we've already seen these on a couple of the other settings but it's power delay to the radio or, and then how, how long until the headlights cut off after you turn off the vehicle. Audio settings, balance fade, equalizer, speed adjusted volume, loudness, this is gonna be for whenever uh, you've got lower volume levels and 
when it's lit blue, it means it's turned on. Auto plays whenever you connect a USB device, it will automatically start playing. And then you've got volume adjustment. Notifications, we will have seen these on other categories that we've already gone through, but there's the notifications. And then you have the button for your Sirius XM setup, software updates, system information, and then the reset. So you get your Sirius XM set up for your account profiles and settings. Um, you can come in here and customize your satellite setup. Pretty easy to understand there. Software updates, it's gonna be if you allow it over the Wi-Fi. System information, this is a bunch of technical stuff that I don't really know uh, much about there. And then reset, it's just different things that you can reset. When we go over to the apps icon, this is kind of like the apps on your phone. You have backup camera. This is your list of favorites and the favorites are indicated by the star up in the corner. Then we've got recent. So the ones that I've used recently. Then I can go to the categories here. On categories, starting at the top, we've got the media apps for any of the sources of music, basically. Your phone apps, their vehicle apps. It's system apps for driver profile, stored notifications, and setting up a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then you got other for your Uconnect Assist, notices, and then the SOS functions that are on here. And then all just going to list them all. There you go. That is a look at the Uconnect 5 with 8.4 inch screen. I do have a video that I made previously that shows the Uconnect 5 on the 10 inch screen. Here's a link to it. I'll see you there.